From the bullpen to the beltway, one former major league pitcher says he is serious about getting into politics. Joining us right now is former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling. Kurt, thank you so much for calling in. We're happy that you're here. Thanks for having me. So you ran into trouble for your political stance while working at ESPN. <laughs> now you say you may challenge Senator Elizabeth Warren? Uh, thinking about it, yeah. I mean, I'll ultimately, like everything else, it comes down to what my wife says. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something I'm, I'm, I'm seriously considering. What, 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 what do you think you can do in terms of bringing value to this conversation? Tell us why you think you will be effective. Well, I, I think... Above all else, I think uh, uh, office, uh, political office is about leading. I think it's about uh, being able to to relay and take a message. I mean, as, Senate, as a senator, your job is to is to go to Washington and take the concerns in, of your constituents in the state. Uh, I'm clearly not establishment. Um, I, I think I have a firm grasp of of how it works and an understanding of issues and the issues and and. Uh, I also look at someone like Elizabeth Warren as one of the reasons why politically uh, we are in the quagmire we are in, and and people like her need to be gone. And I think it, you know, I I, I am someone who talks a lot, um, and I talk a lot about politics. And I think it's time to to for more people to stop talking and start doing. Peter, Kurt, um, you've had gleams and glooms in your career. Uh, obviously, <laughs> a superstar on the mound. And then in the last couple of years between your business that did not work out at Studio 38, 38 Studio, excuse me, and, and now a cancer diagnosis, you're clearly a fighter. How have these recent developments in your life prepared you for the next stage that you're thinking about taking, next steps? Well, I, you know what, I don't know. Listen, listen I've had a blessed life. There, there's no, I mean, I, I was diagnosed with cancer, and, and the first conversation my wife, Sean, and I had I, was, was me telling her, listen, this is, nothing to, to dwell on one of two things can happen out of this um you know you you live or you die i certainly want to see my kids grow up i want to walk my daughter down the aisle but if 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 the lord feels like it's time for me i i, I don't have any complaints i've been blessed i've been blessed beyond anything i could have ever imagined so i, I look at uh, you know i i've been able to i think the most important thing in, in responding to your question would be that um you know a lot of people make a bucket list now for their life and i realize that uh, after everything in the last, you know, couple of years, and probably more importantly, I think dealing with ALS patients for the last 26 years, mm -hmm. nobody's promised tomorrow. So you know, stop bucket list and don't bucket list your life. Bucket list your day, and and, and the ability for me to stay focused uh, day to day, I think, is is one of the big changes in my life. Kurt, well, then why focus on potentially running for office? Don't you think? I mean, it kind of goes to the point of maybe getting more done. Uh, serving people directly rather than uh, getting hung up in bureaucracy. Well, and that's a good point. Is this Taya? No, it's Dagan. I'm sorry. Oh, I should Dagan, have I'm identified sorry. myself. Taya's up next, no. I promise. Okay, no, I, you know what? Um, because I think the notion that you can't do anything politically or, or, you know, being a part of the process is being a part of the problem, I think if we all truly believe that, then we might as well just stop voting. If, if we all truly believe you can't get things, meaningful changes made and meaningful things done in office, um, then that pretty much goes against everything we believe about this system. Uh, and, and certainly I think that's a path where a lot of people are at this point, uh, and I think rightly so. When you look at the fact, and I, I'm of agreement, that you know the media has made it very clear that their agenda is to get Hillary Clinton into the White House. Mm -hmm. uh, the dislike for Donald Trump is... is it, Beyond anything I've ever seen uh, from the media, and, and so we've lost. You know that was that was always the third estate, right? The media was always there to check, to keep the checks and balances, right. and to keep people that are in power in check. Uh, and they stopped. They've stopped completely. And they, you know, when you watch the debates, when you listen to the crap that is coming out in the mainstream media, it, it no longer they're slitting their own throat. Yeah. And it, 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 it's sad to see, but it's also something that means if you want to be informed, if you want to, if you want to do the things that, that matter in this country, uh, you've got you to make an effort now because you're not going to get it from, from the mainstream media. So do you see yourself as part of that Trump movement? I, I think in that sense, yeah. I, th yeah. I think I'm... I mean, there's nothing about me that's establishment, and I don't, I don't say that as a bad thing. Um, I think um, in my life, I think you, it, I've been pretty comfortable um, doing what I do and being who I am, regardless of the masses. And I think you know, one, of, one of the things that I've always believed in and, and taught, tried to teach our kids is don't ever live your life trying to impress people you don't know. 
Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have a problem sitting. I, I can't imagine being in a, mini, a meeting of senators and uh, having any issues standing up and saying, I think you're all full of crap. I mean, uh, right. and, and I think we need more of that. I, I want to. I'm going to ask you go about ahead, this locker sorry. room, this locker room talk, but but let me get uh, Taya into the conversation. Taya, go ahead. Oh, Kurt, it's Taya. I just wanted to say I encourage you to do it. I wish we had more people in this country who were reluctant candidates. My dad was the same way. He ran for mayor, and it was sort of the same thing. I can sit here and talk about it, or I can try to make a difference. And I think the more people we have like that running for office, the better off this country is going to be. Less career politicians, more people like you who truly have lived a blessed life, love your family, talk to your wife about running, and then and then get in the mix and see what you can do and not be afraid of a, a long-term career in politics, but just do what you feel is right about your conscience. I like that. Well, I appreciate that, Tay, and I also want to tell you how how, uh, how much respect I have for you and all the things you've been through and, and uh, you know, that you've been part of that, uh, that, that group of people that have, have given everything and more for for what this country to be where it is and that i think i think your husband uh is is, is was one of the foundational motivators for me in the sense that um my whole life has been about you know i i play my job was one in which talking was irrelevant at 705 every night uh all the talk went away and you had to put up or shut up and and i want more people like i you know listen why don't we have term limits why do we allow these people to do the things they do year after year, decade after decade? Yep. You know, it, it, the, the people that, that work for us have made us believe we work for them. Yeah. And, and, and that's the opposite of what this system was all about. And, You're right. And so, you know, I want to see more people. I want to see more Trey Gowdy's. I want to see more people that, and I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. Obviously, I wish you were a Republican, whoever you are that are, that's running. But at the end of the day, I want to see people who want to make a difference, who want to who want to matter, who want to to work for people, who want to lead. Yeah, they, they, they don't just want to be there for the power. Let me ask you this, um, because Kurt, you know, this tape has gotten an incredible amount of uh, of exposure. Hillary Clinton slammed Donald Trump for his locker room talk comments the other day. I want to get your take on the issue. Well, I mean, from a take perspective, there's nothing. You know, I, I find it very sad that we have to caveat everything we say about this by, by with, I don't condone this type of talk. Nobody does. Yeah. Yeah, good Nobody point. does. You know, but, but I can tell you this. I, I've been uh, uh, over in an active theater of war twice uh, for a total of almost 20 days being able to spend time with our troops. I've been in a locker room. Um, when I say this is how guys talk, I don't mean all guys talk like this. But when you're in, a, this was a guy bragging. This is a guy clearly who doesn't, who doesn't live that life, who doesn't have a lot of friends, who doesn't hang out in the locker room. He's bragging about the things that, first of all, half the stuff he says is a lie, which is, which is what guys do. A lot of guys growing up, or, or, or older guys, will brag about things and exploits that have never happened to be funny, to be cool. And when yeah. you listen to the conversation, that's exactly what it was. None of that excuses it. And, and if you believe that's an insight into his character, then, you know, I would come back with, hey, you know what? Hillary Clinton got a rapist off who raped a 12-year-old girl, thought it was funny in multiple occasions, and knew the guy was guilty. What speaks more to people's character? And, and, and at the end of the day, if, you're gonna, if everything everybody's ever said is on, is on the table, then nobody gets elected ever. Yeah. And this is coming from the same generation that falls in love with the, the slogan, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Mm. So please stop with the moral high ground stuff.